Hey Cancer, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So let's take a look at your love messages for the next two weeks. See what's showing up here for you. Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. All right, let's get into this. Cancer. Okay, you have keys on a ring. Many options. A decision, uncon unconventional relationship, a string along perhaps, or a one night stand. Okay, let's take a look. What's going on? So you might be in a relationship with someone at this time, or someone could be showing up in the next couple of weeks where you might feel like you're being strung along, or you may be feeling this way, that somebody is keeping their options open. You might be keeping your options open, Cancer, as well. So let's take a look and see. Okay. Wow. Well, three cards right out of the out of the deck here. So hmm, a feeling of betrayal, perhaps. Um, you have the emperor, so this could be somebody like it could be an Aries or someone who sits in a position of authority. So there is somebody here, Cancer, who I feel like internally insecure, right? They come across as somebody who is very authoritative or showing like self-respect, like a father figure kind of person. Um, but this person suffers from mental type of like depression or they internally feel like a victim they're very like i feel like they watch you or they will be watching you like spying or they gossip so i feel like there's somebody here who puts on this front of having it all together um but i feel like this person may have been betrayed in the past and they it's kind of like maybe wear a mask they come across to me as like someone who shows up like with the Santa Claus attitude, you know, um, very giving, very fatherly, like a father kind of figure type of person, you know, even with the emperor, I feel like I, I just get a sense that when you meet them or when you've met this person, they gave off vibes like they were very well respected they could take leadership roles very strategic they'll take care of you that kind of thing but behind the mask it feels like someone who is they have a lot of anxiety yes they've hit some kind of rock bottom and they don't trust so I feel like this person keeps you kind of like as an option. They're afraid to open up and get hurt. So even with the emperor, they come across as having it all together, but they're afraid of being hurt. Like this is, this feels like all their insides right here, all the gory insides underneath and behind the mask, a lot of sword energy. They think they're going to be betrayed. They're constant that like might be a little bit like watching looking they don't feel like they deserve love they feel like they're gonna they're gonna get hurt or that if you get involved with them they might kind of keep you on a string just in case you hurt them you know what i mean and i am definitely not saying that you need to cater to somebody like this i mean you do whatever you want but what i feel like is whether you're already dealing with this person or you meet them what you see is not really what you're getting that's what I feel like is going on here with this person. Okay. So you might have like a little bit of confusion when you meet them because they come across as this really great, well put together person. But look, they deflect. You, this, this person here, Cancer, deflects. They don't let anybody in. And they definitely are not going to like open up and be vulnerable here and say... Um, well, this, you know, I've been betrayed in the past or I've been hurt or, you know, I, I, it's really affected my mental uh, and I, pl I kind of feel victimized and I don't trust, you know, and so they have this very possessive energy as well to kind of be like, I'm not going to let you go um, 
because I can't deal with being a failure or, or you leaving because I failed, but I need to keep you kind of on a ring here or on a string um, because it makes me feel better, which is terrible. It's very selfish behavior, which is not generally how the emperor comes across. Well, it's not generally how the emperor is. You know, the emperor is very reliable and someone you can trust, but I feel like this person kind of puts on a front or puts on a mask. Okay, so there is, so, hmm. This feels like your energy, King of Cups, which is a masculine card, can also be a feminine card, but it is an energy of you kind of, I feel like you go into hermit mode. I see you doing that where you're kind of like thinking about this or trying to figure something out or get some type of illumination or clarity about what is really behind the mask or behind the scenes here. Hmm. And I love it about you, Cancer, because you have a really good heart, but I feel like you might be a little confused that this person... I feel like you've... So I feel like this person maybe has been kind to you, which is what the emperor does. But there's there's like this underlying current with this person that you can't see, kind of like a rip current. If you're not looking out for it, it'll just suck you into the ocean. And I feel like what you have seen about somebody or will see, I should say, is how they present, but not who they truly are. You know, and I feel like you are looking at this person where they seem to be a bit mild in their love or affection towards you, but it just doesn't feel like it goes in any deeper because they block it. They'll be blocking it. They don't want it to go any deeper. So let's take a look and see what the outcome is, like what, what you need to do, what your advice is going forward with this person. Okay, so you definitely are going to need to take some action in regard to what you want and what you need to do. Let's take a look here. Okay, all about action. You need to move something here. I kind of feel like, look at all these aces. I feel like you need to, your advice spirit is saying is, Stay open to other options, which is why this key is on a ring, new option, many other options to make a decision can also apply to you, right? Because how can there be a relationship without vulnerability, without somebody opening up? Now, if this person opens up to you and tells you what's going on with them, you know, it's still up to them to be willing to heal their past grievances or hurts or pains and move forward. I just feel like this person might have a lot of pride and they might have a lot of ego, which is a blockage to forming a healthy soul connection with someone. So I feel like your advice here is pretty much to put your plant your seeds in other places and accept any other opportunities or options going forward because I feel like this would kind of be a little bit of a dead end for you with this person. I don't feel like they're a horrible person. I don't think they're, they're like a bad person, but I do get a sense that they are just very protective of themselves. And I also feel like they're going to keep you um, on a string if you don't do something, like if you allow them to do that. Uh, let's see the outcome. Yeah, see, I feel like this person, an outcome with them, they just there's a breadcrumbing energy from this person. And I feel like that's how it will continue. Yeah, because of their anxiety and their stress. I mean, sometimes like you, you have to call a spade a spade, Cancer. I don't feel like you can, I know for a fact you can't fix other people. You can lead someone, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And it might be better for you to keep your options open as far as your love life goes. Um, because I feel like you're going to, there's a possibility you could get stuck in a breadcrumbing situation where they're keeping their options open, although keeping you on a string 
or I want to have a one night stand kind of see this breadcrumbing card for me is always someone who is sits in a higher position which is your person and gives a little bit to others there's an emotional unavailability here with this person because of perhaps something that happened to them in the past will they ever be ready mm. I don't know cancer there's a lot of hesitation with this person they kind of him and haw should I or shouldn't I there's a lot of delay success I feel like you'll be waiting a long time for this person to come together or get it together or finally open up sometimes you know we operate out of fear or we operate out of love and I feel like this person operates out of fear that's why they wear this heavy-duty emperor mask no, no, I got it all together. I'm fine. And they come across that way. But I really don't feel like that's really what's hidden, what's underneath. I feel like there's more hidden underneath. Let's take a look and see um, this person's Chinese sign or your Chinese sign. Okay, year of the dragon. Year of the ox. Year of the pig. Year of the monkey. Year of the horse. Year of the dog year of the rabbit and year of the goat so that could be you it could be them both of you or none it doesn't mean it's not your reading let's see what your messages of love will be here for you cancer messages of love for cancer sun moon rising or venus okay so this feels like a past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Definitely an intense connection. And with intense connections, there always comes uh, big lessons to learn. This could be somebody from your past <coughs> that you're still de dealing with. <coughs> Excuse me. Or um, coming back into your life. Or someone that you're just, you're still trying to make sense of things. Okay, an addiction affecting this relationship. So this could be playing a role too. This person might have um, an addiction that they're hiding. Um, could be anything. Person, place, or a thing. Which is what's preventing them from being able to form a bond with you. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. That may be something that you need to do if you're just meeting this person. So you can try to gain clarity about what's going on. You might get to know that this person is blocked. They're just completely blocked. Doesn't mean they don't want to be with you or have that connection with you. But it feels like they're not capable. You know, having a desire and then being capable are two different things. Okay, and your message here is to wait. This time is not right, which is why I feel like you need to keep your options open going forward with this person because I don't feel like they are, like I said, going to be or ever have been fully ready to remove that block. All right, cosmic insight message for cancer. Wow, unbelievable. You have let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now right so there's no need to hate <laughs> it's just like wow kind of like this person is just not able to meet your needs in a particular way and i feel like it's the message here is to just kind of accept that and move forward with your life all right let's get a charm see what your charm message is here okay all right so you have dragonfly and dragonfly represents spiritual attainment it represents taking flight it represents moving on with your life it also represents beauty almost like a unique kind of beauty there's something uh, or a unique attraction i feel like there's something about you cancer that's very unique i don't feel like you I, coming from this person there's definitely something that is very special about you which is why i feel like either they're gonna hold on or have been holding on okay I, I, but i i just i don't feel like it's you 
I do feel like with the dragonfly here, you need to be lighthearted about this situation when you find out or you realize that this is what's going on because the, the, it's going to come to light for you and you need to adapt, change, and heal. But there is something here very special about you that this person sees and I don't feel like it's, it's you that's not worthy. I don't feel like it's like anything that you could do. I don't really feel like it would be enough because if they're not ready um when somebody's ready for a relationship they're they're open to it you know um and it doesn't always have to be about love it's just when someone is ready they're ready i just don't feel like this person is fully ready to open up to you and i feel like it has more to do with a lack of capability that's really what I feel. Not that you're not, it's nothing about your worth, your attractiveness, or anything to do with that. I feel like when this person is presented with the, um, I don't want to say opportunity, I feel like when this person, when it's time for them to open up, they, they don't. And then they either move on to the next person, or they just kind of get moody, or just go into their shell. You could be dealing with another water sign as well. But yeah, that's your message for the next two weeks. It's more so about you seeing a relationship for what it really is and not what you hope it to be, um, but more so for what, it's, what it really is. Okay, Cancer? So I hope that gave you some enlightenment. I will see you guys back here in the next two weeks. You Take care. I was the only one. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the pig.